What have I started? Hello everybody, my name is Ultra and oh my god, what is all this stuff on my screen? Well, this is 1.2.0 Alpha, my friends, and we have got a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff planned for this update. Well, not planned, added for this update. It is, of course, available on Game Jolt for you to download if you guys want to play the 1.2.0 Alpha. Trust me, way better than 1.1.0. And it's <clears throat> also the reason I've been gone for the past two days. I have been very busy and hastily at work on this, and let me tell you, there are lots of new things to show off. Now, already it's evident there's a lot of new colors and things on the screen, and new text even. I'm gonna go over every single update in this video so then you guys know what the hell's going on. Okay, first of all, uh, I, I guess it's pretty evident. There are f There's a font, a different font, a new font, a better looking font, a font that you will enjoy. And uh, it's my own font, actually. I finally managed to get custom fonts into the game. Once I'm able to make this game a lot more open source, uh, you'll have the ability to not only like change tile textures and character textures, but even the font, which would be amazing. Um, because, I mean... I Say if, you, um, if you're um you in a different language or something, and you don't understand like what's all over the screen right now, then you can easily just change the font. It's, it's so diverse. Wow, that was a horrible example, actually, but either way, I guess it's close enough. Something else I do want to point out is the fact that a lot of things have changed with debug as well. As you can see, every time I activate debug, you get a little box around players, and if I fly out here, they, yeah, I had a feeling they'd be down here. All NPCs are highlighted green, and as well are their names, which is really, really cool. There are also a few bugs patched, I'm not actually gonna go over them just yet, I'm gonna finish off these updates. Alright, so the help menu and basically everything has just been well, well improved. The FPS counter is now always static at the top right corner of the screen instead of only opening up when you hit debug. And actually, by the way, I never mentioned in uh, my, in the last update video what the debug key is. Of course, H is help. I mean, that's pretty obvious already. But the debug key is plus or equals on the keyboard. So if you press that, you are given the debug menu. I may end up changing this to F3, much like it is with Minecraft, but... I guess we'll just see how it goes. It's perfectly possible. I have more than enough ability to do so. But I just leave it at plus because it's a much simpler key to press. And I don't know, it's just, it's just better. It's easier on me, I suppose. And when I'm developing, it's extremely useful. When I first made this game, I found like no use in the debug menu when I implemented it. But now it's come in a lot of use. Now, of course, the boxes around the players they're really all for show, it doesn't even designate a hitbox or anything, it is just a box and text that conveniently shows up uh, next to, well, whatever's there. Uh, but I can actually see how this may be handy once multiplayer is implemented, because it will allow you to identify between NPCs and players, it, it, I don't know, it just might help in a lot of ways. Something else that I have been waiting to get done basically since I started making this game is the ability to fully interact with the world. Now this is an in-development feature still, but it's a working feature nonetheless, especially in its current day as well. This new feature is building. As you see when I move around my mouse, there's a little block that drags behind it, and like, like honestly, you guys can already assume exactly what I mean when I say that you can interact with the world. By flicking between the keys 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, you can select different blocks to build shit. I'm not even joking guys, you can build in this game now. This game finally has a goddamn purpose, Science I just the best. Either way, this is an amazing little feature that I've been waiting to add for freaking ever. And I'm so glad that it finally works now, it's, it's just a blessing, truly. You can now just build whatever you want, and hey, if I were to go over to these waters, I could trap all the NPCs in here, because I'm a horrible person. I am a horrible person. Something I do want to point out, unfortunately, the fire blast projectile release 
that's what I had called it during development, has stopped working. Whenever I click around the place, it instantly disappears. I am looking for a way to fix this, but I really wanted to get this update out. Now, shooting things doesn't actually do anything, realistically, so it's not like you're missing a very important feature. But it, it's like it, it's just it annoys me really the fact that it's broken because it was one of my favorite features Especially when I implemented it originally of course building is my new favorite feature, but either way, you know, it's all cool It's cool and it's coolio The f was that I have also changed the pause menu a lot. There is no longer uh, actual like pause Thing on the side. This will be re-implemented later, but it will look a lot better. It'll look it like it'll function a lot better, even better. Um, and it also, I'll be able to make it and it's easier for me to like code it, I suppose, because when I had originally made the whole pause menu thing, it it was like 50 lines of code. All right, I it was completely unnecessary. All of it was necessary, technically, but all of it was just super, super annoying. So, yeah. Something else I also actually want to point out about the game. Well, technically this isn't the game, but it is related to it. There is now a Twitter support that you can, well, not a Twitter, Ultra Cube Twitter account. There we go. Like a support account almost. So if you want to submit your suggestions for the game or report a bug, then you can tweet at Ultra 3 official. Well, unfortunately, I couldn't get the cube sign in there, but I mean, it's the closest I could get either way. I am active enough on there, so you will most likely be able to get a hold of me. I'll be checking it at least every day. So, like, your, your, whatever you want to say will be heard, and I will see what I could do about any bugs or any suggestions. And yeah, all them cool beans. That's awesome. I've also added a support email alongside the the Twitter account. Oh, f I can't remember what the email is. Shit. The support email is ultra3game at gmail.com if you guys want to send in emails. More formal than a little tweet, but you know, if you want to compile something really long into a message and send it off to me, then there you go. I will not be taking suggestions for Ultra Cubed on my Hey It's Ultra account, and I, I may still take them in the YouTube comment section. I most likely will, but either way, I won't be accepting them there, but if you go down to the Game Jolt page, support is still active there, I will still be responding to messages left in the comments, and yeah. So not much has changed, just things have been added, I guess, more so than anything else. I do want to point out some light little bugs that were patched as well. This wasn't a very noticeable one, but if you walked into the water in certain directions, it would stop you from going into it. Whereas now, you're just left to freely go into the water. And there's a tiny bit more control if you're trying to walk in the water. Whereas a while ago, there was like hardly any control. I don't know. It was bad either way, and I didn't like it. So I fixed it. Yay. That's basically all the updates we have. Damn, I went through those like really fast. I didn't expect to go through the updates that fast, but either way. But yeah, that is all the updates we have. If you guys do want to see more Ultra Cube stuff and leave your suggestions, again, go down to the Twitter or email the new support and I'll be sure to answer you on there. Or alternatively, you could go to the comment section of the video you're currently watching, or you could go down to the Game Jolt page and I don't know, just leave a comment on there and I'll be sure to get to it. But either way, that is all I got for today, guys. My name is Ultra, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out! I am causing chaos and destruction. Oh my god, look at this.